Hey gang, Jack Lair here. Uh, gonna do something a little different, something I normally don't do. I'm gonna do an unboxing. And the reason we're gonna do an unboxing is because I want to give credit where credit is due. And the company that makes this box is truly one of the exceptions out there that's still doing it right. According to me, from when I was buying a whole lot of games 20 years ago. Now, I bought a bunch of games lately, uh, some PS4, some 3DS, and I'm noticing the same thing happening, is that there's a case, there's a disc, or a cartridge, and then there's a little pamphlet that tells me how to access the digital manual, either online or on the, 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 the Wii U or the 3DS, or even on the PlayStation 4, most of the manuals are just like, oh, I'll bring up the options menu and look at the manual. And there's a, there's a company out there that's doing it right, still. And that company is Blizzard. Now, we're not gonna talk about the game that you're probably thinking about. We're gonna talk about the Starter's Box, the Starter Edition for Heroes of the Storm. Now, if you don't know what Heroes of the Storm is, uh, it's a multiplayer online battle arena, or a MOBA, uh, which is was kind of started, at least what most people consider it started, was uh, during Warcraft 3, which then had Dota, which is Defense of the Ancients. Now, a bunch of acronyms I just threw out at you. Do you need to remember them? No. Because what we're looking at is, we're just looking at the box. We don't care about the game. Now, the Heroes of the Storm, first of all, the, the box is, as always, they just do a beautiful job. Keep in mind, this is a free-to-play game. So this box really doesn't matter. But what it does is it gives you some of the characters quicker, and it has just some amazing details, and we're going to go through them real quick. So, come a little closer and let's let's take a look. Alright, so we're looking at the box, and one of the things that I don't know if you'll be able to see, there's a good shot, you can see it right there, is that these are raised letters. This is all shiny, this is matte. You know, this is matte, this is shiny. The boxes that they do, and this is just a normal addition to a game that you really don't even need to spend money on. So you open up the box, and it's got the tray. I'm going to pull the tray out and set it over here. We'll get to that in a minute. But I want to look, I want to look on the inside. And you, can you see all that? Now that runs all throughout the inside there of the box. So there are all kinds of hexagons in there. Imagine, now this, this is a part of the box that most people will never look at. And they spent the time to make that look cool. So we're starting it off. Here's the most useless part of this entire thing. This is a Heroes of the Storm disc. Comes in a little sleeve. You're gonna download the game anyways. It downloads right on the browser. This is just to save people some bandwidth. Uh, so if you have uh, either crappy internet or you have bandwidth caps, this gives you a good jump start on getting it downloaded and then you can just patch it up from there. There is a quick start guide. And this is actually kind of cool because it gives you just a little bit of text, some pictures, and of course the obligatory warning that this game will give you seizures. Now. The game says that it includes a bunch of things. And I want to do this kind of in a weird order, but we'll start with the things that are there. They became obsolete uh, shortly after the, well, two of them did. So there's, this is a, World of Warcraft, and all these codes are used, so it doesn't matter, except for one, which I'll mention later. Uh, this is the guest pass, 
for World of Warcraft. So what you used to do is you used to get Destiny and say, Oh, I want to try World of Warcraft. I like this game. And you could go ahead and try it, that one. This is a guest pass of Wings of Liberty. Now, since the... Before this was actually released, or maybe since then, these are... They've given it to where they just give you a free trial of the first level or so. Or the first couple levels. And then, of course, there was a, a free card pack in Hearthstone. So right away, you got a free pack in Hearthstone, which is worth about a buck. Uh, this whole thing is $20, by the way, or it was when I bought it. You can find it cheaper now. I think the cheapest I saw it was uh, 16 uh, and that was uh, at Target, I believe. It might have been might have been cheaper elsewhere, but so these are and these are you know these are still the the shiny part and the not shiny part and they're good card stock. Here's the part that I want more of is that the characters that you get in the game are also on these big beautiful cards. And I don't know how to get more of these, because I want I want the rest of the characters. Even though I already have some of them, I want the rest of them on here. So here's Sonya. She is the barbarian from uh, Diablo 3. And she is there. Here is Zeratul from StarCraft, of the Dark Templars. And... Here's the one where the code still works, but this is Lily, And Lily was uh, one of my favorite characters to run around with in World of Warcraft. You ran into her uh, as you wandered through Pandaria. And if, if, if any of you have skipped Pandaria just because it's all pandas, you're, you're, you're missing out. And of course this came with a golden tiger mount, uh, which some of my characters run around in. And all of these are that once again, that good cardstock, and they've got that, that matte and glossy. And then Jaina Proudmore, who is from World of Warcraft and from Warcraft 3. I don't remember if she was around in 2 or if it was one of her parents. And there is Zagara, who was introduced in Heart of the Swarm, I believe. She is a brood queen. And it also gave you the cool uh, Ronin Zeratul skin. So each of these characters get different skins, and then you can change them depending on... And some of them you purchase with in-game currency, some of them you purchase with actual currency. And then there's uh, a few of them that you get through specific things. Like this one, is, the Ronin thing, I believe only comes with this pack. Now, it's great, so they gave us some pretty pictures. This is what just warms my heart. What is this, you ask? This is, this is what we refer to in my day as paper. And for whatever reason, Blizzard Games always gave us this, and I don't know why it, but it made me giddy to pull this out and just be like, ah, ha, 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 ha. yes, I have, I have a pad of paper. Will I ever write on it? Probably not, because it sits here in the box. So there we are, in a world where we're getting less and less in the box, uh, Blizzard is, is seemingly putting in more and more, and making, making these weird little collectibles that, that I would, I would love, because I would, I would love to have a full set of the characters of these. It would just, it would be really cool to do. I don't think it's going to happen, but you never know. Uh, but that is going to do it for me. I would like to thank you all very much for sticking around and watching the video. Uh, I do play Heroes of the Storm every once in a while, so if you see someone called Jack Lair running around on there, uh, odds are that's probably me. Uh, but thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on!